Hi and welcome to this video. A couple of days ago I made a video on how to hide a partition or a hard drive on your system. I wanted to do a little follow up video on that for people that actually do live in a house with other members and they want to hide some data on it. Now you can actually hide data on the other way that I showed you but it's going to be a bit of a nightmare constantly typing in that command to hide and unhide the actual drive. The other way is more for recovery and backup drives when you're making a recovery partition okay putting your images on there I wanted to try and find a simpler solution for people that wanted to hide their data and I've come across this website it's called a uh, secret disk let's go back and uh, you can get it from privacyroot.com and uh, you can see they make a few other programs here this startup guide looks pretty good and uh, also the one we're going to be looking at today is secret disk now it does exactly what it says on the tin basically you install the program it will make a little small partition and it will allow you to put a part uh, password on that partition so no one can actually access it and it will be invisible which is really great this is what I wanted to find so we're going to download that and as you can see it's a 2 megabyte it's free and you can download it and it works with Windows XP and Vista it will probably work with Windows 7 once it comes out I'm pretty sure of it um, but go to save, save it to your desktop. Now I'm not going to actually install this uh, in front of you and show you how to do it because it is so simple I've just left that bit out but basically let me just show you what it is you can see the partition it's created here, it's created a partition called X and these are my files that I want to hide from say a flatmate colleague or whatever it may be okay and it's going to be pretty simple now all we need to do is click on our program so this is the drive X okay so we click on our program and let's just have a quick look at the settings first before I do that so you need to put a password in now this password will have to be created when you install the program now bearing in mind don't go mad and start doing massive big passwords that you can never remember because you're going to just make a big headache for yourself when you try to get back in because you won't be able to so you can actually have this on the boot up process when you boot up it'll actually ask you for a, a password to actually log on to the, the drive which is I think a good little uh, touch as well I've left it pretty much default these are default I've not touched it and um, that's it really just install it and use it so let me just come out of here now and now try the lock so all we need to do is push lock it's saying lock it's locked and it's now invisible so if let's have a little little look there so you can see now the drive has disappeared and it's now invisible this is exactly what I wanted to try and show you and it's a fantastic piece of kit I think it's a really handy piece of uh, software to have especially if you've got photographs and stuff and you are sharing a computer it's going to be ideal for you to use and it's very simple okay so anyway I hope this has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you like my videos please show your support and join my channel like uh, many other people have and uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment up there or send me a message and I'll do my best to help you. Obviously, I'm getting a lot of emails now and it's taking a lot more time to actually try to get through to everyone. Some people are asking silly questions that I'm not even going to bother answering. So, bear in mind, if you want a video made of any problem that you've got, send us a video and I'll try and make a, a video of you how to fix that problem for you. Okay? So anyway, thanks again for your support. Bye for now.